Hi, this video is for people who have an iPad and who specifically want to use Gmail on it. It's particularly for people who may have no experience of iPads or iPods or tablets or PCs even. So that's the focus and if I appear to repeat things it's really to help those kind of people. Okay, I have a tablet, an iPad, specifically an iPad, displayed in what's called landscape mode. That is, you have the short side going vertically and the long sides going across. And that's the mode to make sure you can follow along that you need to be in. Get your, lands get your tablet in landscape mode. This button here, I'm calling it the dimple. Press it a number of times to make sure that you are in a position that we can all understand. So if I go into, I'm going to go into something randomly, I play as it happens, and I think, oh, how the heck did I get there? Press this dimple button on the right, and it will bring you back to what's called the home screen. Press it two or three times to make sure you're actually back on the home screen rather than uh, because you can't tell from actually looking at it other than these three dots here and it's the first of these dots and there are dots for however many numbers of screens you have so all that to say press the dimple a number of times good so now we're all in the same place now the foot before I can use Gmail I have to find the thing an assumption here is that you already have it installed, okay? This is not what that's about. It's not about installing Gmail, it's just about using it. So I can tell, because I cannot see the, the envelope that I recognize, sure there's an envelope here, but this is not Gmail. I would suggest you do not confuse yourself by using both, let's just call it mail, and by using Gmail. This is specifically about Gmail. So I can see that it doesn't, the Gmail app does not exist on this home screen. Again, you might think, how do I know it's the home screen? The only way you can tell that easily, let's say, is by pressing the dimple, this button here, a number of times when you're anywhere, okay? So I've now done that a number of times. I cannot see Gmail. I'm going to swipe from right to left. Can I see Gmail there? No, I can't. So I'm going to swipe from right to left again. Can I see Gmail there? So this time we see the, the red M type symbol. Uh, and that tells me that that is the Gmail app. I'm now going to go into that app. Now, so I'm now in Gmail, so I'm laboring this point, but let's say you open up your iPad and you think, oh, I didn't, I didn't want to be in there. If you press your dimple again a number of times until you're back on the home screen, just so you know where you are, okay? So I'm now going to look for Gmail again, so I'm going to scroll swipe from right to left and swipe from right to left again and there's my gmail again so i'm gonna press that now up here because this is in this is on an ipad and an ipad mini may be a little different but i'm so i'm just warning you may see slight differences but i don't expect big differences here we have what i'm going to call the hamburger now, if you press the hamburger, you'll see that it, each time you press it, I pressed it once, and now I'm going to press it again, it moves right and left. And what does it show you when it kind of moves out of the way? So I use the analogy of a filing cabinet. So where we see primary, I'm going to touch primary. It's not going to change because it is already highlighted, defined as it is more black than the other things. Now I'm going to press social, and again, it is more black, so I know that it's highlighted. I'm going to say a bit more about this in a moment, and that's promotions. Now, 
consider this like a filing cabinet a three door filing cabinet even ignore more right now just ignore that so the only one that you're interested in is primary so primary so this is like when I touch on primary then it's as though I have opened the filing cabinet and I can see the top bits of some of my documents that I might have in there okay so my life is a cricket bat I've got, uh, right now I can see some of it but I can't see all of it if I want to see all of it then if I tap on my life is a cricket bat then you see that it slides back over to the other side and if I double click on it I'm just seeing what happens I'm not that familiar with an iPad so I'm just kind of exploring a bit here so what it does is it exposes the it exposes the email itself so if I now so now we've effectively noticed that the filing cabinet names on the left have now gone and that's because we're actually in one of the filing cabinets okay we're actually in the primary filing cabinet so I'm going to touch the hamburger again that is I'm going to effectively shut the filing cabinet I haven't quite shut it because I can still see bits the headers from the emails um, and as we said we only want primary so let's say we've opened up our filing cabinet I'm going to click on my life as a cricket bat again and that's an email that's been sent to me from someone or somewhere and we have these icons here so so what are the things we might want to do with an email we might want to delete it and if we want to delete it that's our icon here okay I'm not going to go through all the icons I'm only going to go through the ones that right now as a real beginner you might find useful so we might want to delete it just to tidy up and that's the bin icon so on this one in fact let's go down to one that I really do want to delete let's say okay let's delete this one so it <clears throat> let's say it looks to me like a, a bit of business letter spam that I'm not interested in so I think yeah fine I want to delete that so I'm going to touch this bin icon and it's deleted it um, it may look as though it's still there but actually these people keep sending me a whole bunch of stuff so I'm actually going to delete this one as well so I'm going to press the the dustbin icon up here again okay and that one's gone as well excellent so as you can see the list of things that I've got in my primary cabinet are shrinking all the time and I don't know if you notice there it said move to trash undo again don't watch this video once watch it a number of times okay right so the next thing we so we've seen deleting so now let's see replying so if I go up to this my life is a cricket bat again now in here I might think that hmm that's quite useful I'm going to forward that on to somebody else so we're not sending it back to the person or the thing that sent it we're forwarding it on to somebody else now it, so the icon goes into the two and as you can see the on-screen keyboard comes up so if I now start typing D oops no if I now start typing D then there are various things in there that it, that it shows up and um, that's fine now so let us say that I wanted the so it you don't the point is you don't have to normally you don't have to remember email addresses once you have them Google remembers that you have them Gmail remembers that you have them so I'm going to click on Dennis junk so that's all I need to do in terms of doing a two I could add in more people if I wanted to but let's not do that let's not complicate things and as you can see the on-screen keyboard is still there now it's not terribly obvious where to type but the what you want to do now is touch just down here okay so just touch there so that you've got some space to move so I'm going to start typing on the on-screen keyboard and as you can see as I start to type then the keys 
go grey. So you can doubtless say guess what I'm going to say here. Okay. Um, so let's say that's all I want to do. So now you see this icon here of the the blue paper plane type thing. Um, if you now press, okay, before you send it, that's what's going to happen. Okay, so check what you've written, and then you can press send. Okay, so it turned into a little hourglass, and now that has gone, and it actually traces what all of the uh, what's called the thread insofar as if there was there was an original email late maybe and then there was a reply so all sorts of things can um so it's a, a chain of this particular email so so that's us we've forwarded it and so you notice that we no longer have an obvious forward icon there and this is another thing with the iPad and tablets generally, don't expect something to jump out at you, it won't. So what I'm going to do now is think, hmm, I might want to forward that again, but I can't see. Now you won't be able to see me doing this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe from the bottom to the top. So I'm moving up the screen, okay? So I might, therefore, want to forward it again because of the uh, trademark thing here. I can't f show you what's happening there, but let's say I don't want to forward it. I want to reply to it. So I, I want to reply to the person or the thing that sent it. So it's helpfully or otherwise put me automatically just under the subject. And I'm going to say, are, uh, oops, try and type on the PC, not on the iPad. Are you a really? And so something useful to bear in mind is that the iPad does try and guess about what your next word might be. So in this case, I'm going to actually, that is what I want. I'm going to say, are you really? And then I'm going to press shift and then question mark. And that's enough for me. So it's me sending it. So now we have replied. So we have deleted, we have forwarded and we have replied. So let's say I want to shut the filing cabinet how do i do that i've pressed the the hamburger again and that shows me the drawers of the filing cabinet okay now there's so we've covered three things deletion forwarding and reply and now we're going to start a fresh email that's nothing to do with any of the emails that we've previously sent how do we do that can you see this red or this white pen on a red background we are going to press that Okay. Now, I didn't press that quite right. So don't assume that when you press something, oh yeah, it's going to do what it did last time. It actually will do what it did last time. The difference will be you might have done a slightly different gesture or touched it slightly outside where you thought you did. So press the, I'm going to press it again. So this time it's doing what I expect. And I appreciate that what you expect is it, it comes with practice. You have to keep practicing writing emails every day to get this ingrained because otherwise you will forget so as i said if you start typing so it's put as helpfully in the two so if i start typing oops so i'm type on the pc again start typing to the dennis and if i click on dennis junk and then i i'm gonna click in the subject area um, and just do something slightly different for goodness sake oops again trying to type on the keyboard so it and you see it's guessing it is and let's see if it works out that it is raining <laughs> it is raining okay so I'm going to click on raining there see that and then I'm going to click in the area just at below subject and say what ever and again it's guessed that can you see that there it's guessed that i might want that so i'm going to click that yep and i'm what am i going to do next to actually send it i'm going to click the paper blue paper plane okay that's enough for now okay and let's ask the final question how so let's say you've opened up your ipad you don't 
know how you got here you don't want to be here you want a kind of starting point what do you do to get to a starting point that we all so we know we're all talking about the same thing on your home screen short pause for the answer you press this dimple button a number of times until your home screen comes up and doesn't shout at you this is the home screen all it does is you'll recognize that oh actually yeah those are the icons I tend to keep on there of course you can move these around but that's not what this is about this has been about doing email using Gmail okay so I hope that was of some use put some comments if you want me to do anything else specific I might be able to do that thanks for watching goodbye